It's Nick here for Intubox and I am delighted once again to be joined by Jordan Troublesome Thompson. First, how are we Jordan? Feeling troublesome right now, I can't lie. It's getting to that time of day. Trouble, trouble, trouble. But no, um, I'm good. Good, good, soon to be great. So yeah, we're just going to stick with the good for now. You've got, uh, well first of all, let's, let's talk about you've just gone through your workout there in front of the media. How, how was that for you? Yeah, man, they're always interesting. The workouts are always, you, you get warm and then you got to get out of the ring kind of thing. But listen, you got to do it for the fans. I enjoy it. I'm an, I'm, I'm an entertainer first and foremost. So, you know, we're in an entertainment business, so that works hand in hand. So, yeah, no, I enjoyed it, man. You just have fun in there, express yourself, be yourself. And that's that. Got a big opponent this weekend, Vasil Dukar. I hope I pronounced that right. Oh, I don't know. I've gone with Dukar. Have I, I got it wrong? I don't care. You shouldn't care. It's all right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you know about your opponent and uh, what sort of, sort of fight can we expect? I know he's tough. He's game. He's apparently he's durable. Um, he's hopefully he's been put in there to, to test me. And listen, excuse me. On paper, he's without a doubt. He's the toughest guy that I will, will have fought by far. Um, but we're prepared for that. We're prepared for that. We're looking forward to the challenge. I'm looking forward to this to the statement that I can potentially make at the end of the day. And and I think that's a special thing. Like I'm a cocky, no, but I'm very confident. I've got a lot of belief in myself. Listen, I'm not thinking, oh, it's gonna be an easy night. But I am putting that pressure on myself where I want to go out there and make it look like it is an easy night. It's as simple as that, and ain't no there ain't nothing more, nothing less to it. And um, so I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna have some fun, I'm gonna be relaxed, I'm gonna be explosive, and then it's gonna end in an artistic violent manner. Obviously boxing on the zone, and how, how big of a sort of deal is that for yourself? Because like you say there, you want to put on a good show and that and you're going to be on a big, big platform. This is it, man. Listen, blessed, just truly, truly blessed to be in the position that I'm in. Um, Eddie keeps on giving me these amazing, amazing opportunities and Frank Smith and Matchroom Boxing and you've got Brian Peters and Thomas. Listen, amazing management company, potentially both best promotion, best management you could possibly have in the game. So I'm, I am in a real, real blessed position and I've just got to go out there and keep on making them proud and holding up my end of the bargain and go out there and put on special performances, which is what I've done the last three times. So listen, let's keep that momentum going, go out there and do it another time on Saturday the 6th. Second out in this year, is it, is it nice to just be keeping active? And that is, is it, I know boxers say it, but how important is activity? It's that momentum, activity, it, the snowball effect, it, it's the most important thing as a boxer. Because people say, oh, I don't get ring, listen, ring rust is real. And getting used to the occasion, even stuff like this, the interviews, uh, the open workouts, the press conferences, it's all of that as well. The changing room before the fight. Listen, I ain't spent a lot of time in the ring, but it's all the other stuff. Like you start, you start to become it, and it becomes you. And I think that's what's that's what's important as well. So, listen, the momentum is second to none, man. It's second to none, and I'm really blessed to just be out there in such um, such consecutive consecutive time. So, I just got to go out there and make the most of it and, and keep those people happy that are giving me those opportunities. Because if I go out there and put on a stinker, I ain't going to be put out four times in about six months, am I? So, you got to go out there and, and put on a show. You're saying there you've not obviously had many rounds because you're just obliterating uh, everybody that's put in front of you. Would, would you like, obviously, that you don't get paid for overtime in boxing, it's a famous saying, but would you like someone that's there that maybe could give you those rounds? Yeah, potentially. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and say I want to go in there and have a, have a dust up for, for 12 rounds, but can I? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's a, when that time is needed, I will show it. Boxing's about hitting, not getting hit. That's, that's, that's what boxing's about and that's what I go, I'm going to go in there and, and show on, on Saturday night. It's, it's hit and not get hit. Listen, offence is great, it wins you fights, I've been showing that. Defence wins you titles, this is my first title fight. So I'm going to go in there and show, listen, balance is everything. Yin and yang and, and that's what we'll go out there, we'll have some fun. But as well, we'll be alert, we'll be switched on, we'll be relaxed. It's all about that emotional content. You're saying that obviously you want to put on a show for the fans, for, for obviously in front of Eddie, the zone and, and that. Now, we, we have a massive arena in Manchester and we don't have a Mancunian to fill it. Is Jordan Troublesome Thompson the man to fill that arena? Listen, I never, I'm, not, I'm never one to give myself titles or labels. I would love to be that person who can fill up, fill up Manchester Arena. That's a dream. That is a dream. But you've got loads of talent coming through in Manchester. There's just no one that stands out as of yet. Um, so listen, if I am that one, amazing, amazing. But listen, time is everything. It's all a process. I've got to trust in the process. Keep on going out there and putting on these performances. And do we have the potential to be? For sure, for sure. But there's others out there that also have the potential. So you never know. We could have a, a card of Manchester fighters who will be headlining and, and, and topping the bill and, and fighting on the same card one day. Who knows? But it would be an honour. It would be an honour. 
obviously a fighter will never overlook the next opponent, but God willing that Saturday night you're successful. What, what do you want sort of the next year or so in your boxing career to look like? Is there anyone, I'm not saying to call them out, but is there anyone that you sort of look at and you go, do you know what, if me and him got in there, what a fight that would be? Um, there's no one that I can pick out and single out, I'll be honest. There is no one that I can pick out and single out. Um, whichever makes the most sense financially. I'm one of them. I got asked the question before, I was like, do you want to fight at heavyweight? I was like, what's the going rate for fighting AJ? You know what I'm trying to, listen, this is a business at the end of the day. I, I, I've got an opportunity to, to secure financial security for, for my family, for my family's family, for generations. Listen, like, I'd be a fool, listen this. You gotta win. Winning is all that matters because everything comes from winning. Legacy, titles, money, it all stems from winning. You can't do that if you're losing kind of thing. Um, so I just gotta go out there and do that. But there's some amazing fights out there domestically on the world scene. There is amazing fights out there. So listen, let's handle business Saturday the 6th, get Vasil Dusar out of the way and then, and then we'll go from there. I think the sky is the limit from there. You mentioned Anthony Joshua there. Gotta get your opinion on the upcoming rematch. How do you see that one playing out? Left hook knockout. AJ, left hook, that's the punch. Is it going to be early, late, is, you know, how, how, because obviously like last time he went in there trying to outbox the boxer, he, he can't do that this time, can he? Um, in spurts, he was getting success, so he, he can he outbox Usyk, yes, can he outbox him for 12 rounds of a fight? I wouldn't bet my money on it, that's for sure. But can he do it in spurts and can he go out there and implement his old style, his balance, balance again. It's just having a balance. I think if he, if he mix between the two, but listen, I ain't no boxing coach. I'm a boxer first and foremost. And I ain't going to try to sit here and say, this AJ needs to do that and he should have done this and he should have done that. Because he's done a hell of a lot more than I have in boxing. Um, but I just think it's a it's tiny adjustment mindset. All, if, I was, if I was AJ and if I was lucky enough to be in this position, all I would change is my mindset. I'd go in there and just set about him set about him. Artistic violence, man. You know what it is. Let's leave the final word with yourself. Have you got a message for your fans, supporters, family, sponsors, everybody that's getting behind you this weekend and has got behind you in your career? 100% listen, it's love, peace, blessings always. I appreciate the support. I'm grateful for the support and I'm going to go out there on Saturday night and I'm going to make you guys proud once again. Jordan Thompson, thank you very much for giving into Top Boxing some of your time and we wish you all the very best Saturday night. Anytime, my man. Thank you. Appreciate you.